Hey there, this tutorial is an update to my screencast on how to create a Smart Lab activity in Smart Notebook 16. Since then, uh, there has been an update to Smart Notebook, and now we're on Smart Notebook 17.1. So I just want to create the screencast to show you some of the changes that have been made in Smart Notebook 17. So let's begin. So just like the, just like Notebook 7, 16, rather, the Smart Lab activities can be accessed at the top here. It looks like a Space Invader. Go ahead and click on it. And the first thing you'll notice that's different is just the look and feel of the activities and the list of activities is different. For the most part, they're all the same. Um, they have included a game show option, so that's new. I'll show you what that, a finished product, product of that looks like. Um, again, these Smart Lab activities can be pushed out to students individually on their own devices if you, if, own devices if you are a one-to-one -one classroom or if you have a maybe a classroom set of uh, devices in your classroom they'll sign up via a code at classlab.com and so let's create one together let's create a rank order one and this is how you enter in content for this one you can enter in text or an image let's say we want them to order uh, the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, December. Yep, there's a max. Oh, apparently there's a maximum of 10. So let's just end there. And you can enter in the ranking labels here. So earliest to latest. And you can actually set when the answers be checked either instantly or don't check or when prompted. So let's let's try when prompted. Let's click next. And you can choose a theme here. There's plenty of themes. Let's try a um, let's try just a, the garden theme. Like I said, you can do this as a whole group or you can push this out to your students. So I'm going to go ahead and do it correctly and see what it looks like. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and oh, I think I forgot in October there. But anyway, this is how I can, I can have it check my ranking. And there you go. That's how you do it. Here is an example of a game show. And I created this beforehand. It's kind of kitschy and kind of um, corny, but I like it. So you can use this as a review game. I, th I think that would be a great idea. Let's click start. And basically there's two teams, and there's this wheel, and they click on the board to spin the wheel for the questions. And do you see these little times two and these stars? Those are special events that could either increase the number of points that they can earn um, and so forth. So let's try it out. Okay, five plus five equals 10. Let's say that's true. Awesome. Click continue. And then now it's next, next terms team. Okay, 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's true. Great. Let's continue. And I have one more question here. Let's spin it again. Hopefully get one of those double point ones. Oh, that's not. 2 minus 3 equals 8. That's definitely... Let's say that's true. Let's see what happens. Uh-uh. That's incorrect. Let's give the next team a try. So it's worth half points now. I'll say that's false. And when I create this, you can create true and false or multiple choice questions. So those are the only two types of question types you can create. So true and false or multiple choice. Great, and that I think that's kind of cool. I think it's kind of it's cute. It's all the templates are already there. You can actually mute it too if you find the music annoying. Um, so yeah, this is a cool novel activity that you can use as a review game with your students, this game show one. So that is also included in Smart Lab, Smart Lab um, Activities 2. If you wish to push something like 
this review game out to your individual student um, devices, you'll actually need to sign into your account. Let me show you how to do that. So I'll click review. I'll click on this red um, iPad or cell phone icon. I'll have to sign in and I'll, have, I'll only need to sign in once. So you can click on sign up for free to create an account, um, but I already have one. And actually, as teachers in this district, you all have a Google account. So please use your Google account as that single sign-on piece to sign into Notebook. So let's, oops, let's try signing in because I already have an account. Next. Okay, great. I didn't even have to put in my password because I guess I was signed into Google already in my browser. So I signed in. I can click Get Class ID. And now I can click Start New Activity. The activity has been started. I, I'll click this button to display it again. 15045632. This class code should stay the same for all your activities because it's unique to you. Your students will go to this website in any browser, classlab.com. Um, that's all that's great about this is it's device agnostic, so you can use any browser, either laptop or Chromebook or in Safari on your iPad, what have you. You'll see when your students get connected, they'll be prompted to put in a nickname, and it will say that they're connected here, and you'll see um, them listed here in this window with their progress. So that way they can do it on their own. So that's how you create a smart lab activity in Notebook 17.1.